Well, everybody, welcome to another video of Vinyl Attic. My name is Chili, and each week I pick an iconic album cover and discuss about the backstory, the history of it, and how it was received, and so on. Uh, because every picture tells a story, and this week's um, album cover is no exception to that. And I'm talking about Black Sabbath's Sabbath Bloody Sabbath album cover. Now, um, this is uh, album was released December 1st, 1973, and it was really well received. This is the album uh, from what the, the riff that Tony Iommi came up that saved the band, because at the time he was going through some sort of writer's block and he came up with this riff and then there we go. They were back on the Sabbath trade. And um, now this, this album cover, uh, is used, uh, the illustrator used the front and the back uh, he, to uh, tell the story. And the illustrator's name is Drew Struzan. And everyone has seen his work. You know, we've all seen his work from the movies, uh, the movie posters that he has done. He's done Star Wars, uh, the prequels. He's done everything you could imagine. Back to the Future, E.T., uh, Shawshank Redemption, Cannonball Run, just to name a few from uh, from the 70s and 80s, and 90s, and all the present time. It's just been iconic movie posters. And he started out uh, his first job as a, at a design agency called Eye and Ear. And there he was making album covers. And this album cover he was assigned to was... $250 uh, pay for the week just to make this album cover. Now, he, I, I don't know if they, um, at the time, like he does any, the, the design concept was created from the agency. And um, he asked if he could, you know, use the front and back to, to tell the story of what he wanted to do. And so this album cover is interesting. It has uh, in the front this man dying and he's on his deathbed and all this um, dark imagery is around him. And in the back, it's a cool bluish kind of uh, uh, peaceful exit he's going through and he has his loved ones around him. And uh, uh, it, it's just... Um, for me, I was always thinking like he was, like this was going through his mind, uh, and no one else could see what's going on with his mind. That's that's how I interpret it, and that's it's a that's the thing about great art. You know, one person could see a picture, and based on their background or whatever their experience is, kind of t um, chime in on what they think it's about and how they interpret it, and that's how I interpreted it, and. The band, um, they themselves, uh, actually, that the, their reception was very positive. Ozzy said it was, uh, how he described it, his interpretation was, like, each one of these people in here, the, um, these kind of demonic uh, people, are, are is the guy himself. He has four different kinds of, um, uh, like, greed, corruption, uh, just different kinds of, uh, you know, bad traits. And uh, at the, the other side is the good man. So there's the bad and the good, you know. Um, Bill Ward said this is out of all his, all the Sabbath collection album covers, this is his favorite. He said, I couldn't stop looking at it when it came out, you know. And... Um, and it is a gatefold as well, um, which is, I don't think is related to any of that, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. Because um, Geezer Butler, when he wrote the song, he, he was the primary lyricist um, for Black Sabbath. And he said Sabbath Bloody Sabbath is just about the Sabbath experience. You know, at the time, it, it was them against record in the record industry, the record labels, the attorneys, and all this crap, you know? And so that's what it, what, what 
the lyrics were about and and you know, it's pretty much unrelated to what this album cover is you know now of course there's the 666 on here and there was some backlash of course from religious groups black sabbath is you know never uh, you know um safe from you know that kind of um being under fire from these groups whether it's album covers or it's live concerts. I mean, they're always out there picketing Black Sabbath. You know, you're going to hell. You're, you know, and I remember seeing Black Sabbath on the reunion tour. And um, when Ozzy came back in 1999 and the whole group with Bill Ward and, um, you know, there's just people going out there saying, everyone in that building is going to hell. I'm like, even the concession workers and the ushers? Come on. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, it was a, it was still worth the ticket, you know. Right? And so um, this is uh, so there was also that kind of controversy. So, um, th but you know, it's it's the first one um, of that I think that was their best album covers. I mean, they've had some other interesting ones, but I like the fact that this one uh, they they use the front and the back, you know, um, you know, so. You know, tell me, leave me a comment what you think this is about and what your thoughts on this Black Sabbath album cover. And I'll see you next week. If you like the content, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.